Welcome to 40 OS version 7.4. We've implemented dozens of new features and updates, and in this video, we'll show you tips and tricks for using some enhancements in the interface. If you prefer to use keyboard shortcuts rather than your mouse, we've added an enhancement for you. By typing Ctrl P on a PC, Command P on a Mac, you open up a menu of shortcuts to any item in the navigation menu. Use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to select the page. To narrow the choices, start typing the name of the page you want in the search bar. To navigate to the selected page, press Enter, and to close the menu, press Escape. We also have a menu of common commands. You can open a new CLI console, change your password, log out, start a new packet capture, and many more. We've updated some of the diagnostic tools. In particular, we've upgraded packet captures. To open the packet capture dialog, Use the new command menu, or click on the Network Diagnostics menu, or simply hover over an interface you want to capture and click the Packet Capture button at the bottom of its tooltip. Set up any filters or maximum packet counts, and start the capture. If you need to, you can now even capture packets from several interfaces at the same time. Each capture window can collapse to a tab at the bottom of the screen for easy access. If you have too many to fit, they will fold into a single tab that tells you how many there are. Note that minimized CLI consoles will also collapse into a single tab if there are more than will fit on the screen. We've updated the Asset Identity Center, providing high-level graphs that allow you to drill down based on various criteria, such as an asset's operating system or current status. We've also added more information about known vulnerabilities of connected devices, either computers running FortiClient or devices detected by FortiGuard, including IoT devices. If an IoT device has a known vulnerability, the interface provides a link to its CVE page for more information. Certain inputs will now offer suggestions of known values that match what you're typing. For instance, in the Virtual IP dialog, once you click in the External IP Address box, a list of suggestions pops up, which then narrows down as you type. Similar suggestion boxes are available for several fields in the Wi-Fi NAC Policy dialog. To help administrators ensure that policies are in the right sequence, we've introduced a new Policy Match tool. Simply enter the network values you want to test, and the tool will find the first policy that matches, allowing for easy troubleshooting. If you have a large number of policies, changing their order by dragging them, possibly over several screens, can take some time. Now, you can just click Move by ID in the floating menu and choose the policy you want to move next to, either above or below. You can even choose whether to have the list scroll to the policy in its new sequence location. Thanks for watching. For more technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com.